Hey everyone, what's up? This is Scooter here at Macintosh Tips. Today I have a beastly application to show you. Now usually I say a lot of applications are beastly, and yes they are. I have a bunch of beastly applications in the past to show you, but this one is very top notch. After using it for only 10 minutes, I had to go ahead and email the developer, the per person who developed this application, Paul Gu, because he is amazing and he really took some time and really did a great job with this application. Now it's basically a front row um, competitor, so check this out. I got front row over here and I got uh, Plex over here, right? So let's see. Um, are they both free? Okay, that's good. They're both free. Um, let's see here. Huh. Oh, yeah. Um, do they both let you listen to music? Okay, that's good. Uh, what about movies? Okay. What about YouTube videos? Hmm, Plex has that one. What about Hulu, straight from the application? Plexus has that one again. What about Sesame Street, CNN, MTV, and a bunch of other uh, third-party applications in its own app store? Mm, Plex has that one again. Uh, but did I mention that Plex is also free? Guys, Plex is a beastly application. All these features right here I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so as you notice on my dock, I have Plex here, right? Plex, I'm just going to click it, open it up. Now, you will see this little thing here, this nifty little thing which says that you have to uh, work it with your Apple remote. Today I'm not going to use the Apple remote, but it's very simple. You just go to this website. I haven't uninstalled it, but you go to this website and you can sync it with your Apple remote. Just a snow leopard bug thing that's been uh, kind of, I guess, hindering them from using the Apple remote, but now you can use it. So, remind me later. I'm just going to use the arrow keys to navigate this to show you how easy it is. So, boom, there it is, right? A couple things off the bat you notice. Great interface on the left side. Great time in the top left, RSS feeder of Plex News in the bottom, and definitely the weather outside that's really accurate in the top right. All right, so great things there. All right, so now, if you go and you first open up the application, you're going to have videos, movies, TV shows, and none of these are going to have anything in them, all right? Uh, Mine might have something in them but because I've been using the application, but usually when you go click on them, you won't have anything. It'll say add things like this, and I'll show you how to get these applications here in a second. So to navigate this application, just use the arrow keys down, up, pretty simple, right? Uh, if you go to, an, to go to a selection, if you hit the right arrow button, you will see uh, media stream and some preferences. So if I go into pictures here, for example, click enter, all right, and it's going to say from iPhoto. So I'm going to click iPhoto, go to my events, uh, I'm going to go to the recent China trip, and I'm going to go down here to some of the better pictures, and boom. Okay, so now I'm viewing them here, and I just simply click the arrow button, and boom. I'm going through, checking out my China pictures when I was in China. Great time, right? And so, boom, there it is, right? Very nice, very simple, very clean interface. Hit escape, I'm back to the iPhoto menu. Hit escape again to travel backwards. Hit escape some more, hit escape, hit escape, all right? Now, um, and you have preferences here where you can change your preferences of the interface and things like that. I'm not going to go over that much because uh, I don't want to make this video too long and definitely you can see it by yourself. So, you've just seen a little bit here. Uh, music, it works the same way as Front Row. Uh, go to Music, go to iTunes, uh, you can go to Artists, Tracks, Albums, Podcasts, Decades, whatever you have to do. Uh, I think there's a little bit more selections, but boom, you've got it right there, right? Okay, so now I want to show you about the best thing about this application, which is definitely the App Store. Uh, basically, like on your iPhone, guys, you have an app store where you choose from apps, different apps you want to view, all that good stuff. This application has an app store, which I definitely think is going to grow over time when this application gets more publicity. It's, it's definitely got some accolades here. Check out some of the awards it's won. It's been at Macworld, other places like that. So definitely check that out um, on their website as well. Uh, but the app store here is very, very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, so enter the app store. And I'm greeted with Featured, What's New, Most Popular, Categories, Media Types, and more. Alright, so let's just go ahead and go to Featured. I'm going to click uh, there, here, and boom, there you go. So you have Apple Movie Trailers, BBC iPlayer, Boing Boing, Boing Video, Charlie Rose, Fox News, Funny or Die, uh, Hulu, I Can Has Cheeseburger, and it's just definitely, and it tells you the description right here. Alright, Juiced, MSNBC, things like that. So I've downloaded some. I'm going to download one just to show you how easy it is to navigate. So once you usually download an application, it's stored in the video section. So I'm going to go to watch my videos. And I'm going to go to the YouTube app. Okay? So I can check out 
today's videos, this week, this month, all time, the most recent, most viewed videos, all that good stuff. I can also search YouTube. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to search YouTube. I'm going to search Macintosh Tips. Hit done. It'll search, waiting for a response. This is a very speedy application, guys. And boom, there are all the Macintosh Tips. Well, not all. Don't get me wrong. It's not all. Only 40 or so uh, Macintosh Tips videos right here and there. All right? So right here at my fingertips, I can check out which one I want to do. All right, so for example, I can just click this one, click enter, it'll open up, and let it stream for a second. Here it comes. Five, four, three, two, one. You want to go? All right. All right. So now, as you see, it's in a buffer. All right. So you're gonna buffer. All right, guys. There it is, right there. Check it out. Boom. Alright, now if I have the Apple Remote up and running, I can maneuver with the Apple Remote. But even if you don't have the Apple Remote, uh, you can come down here, you can check out the response video. Uh, just hitting the arrow buttons here, guys. You can't use the mouse, but the arrow buttons do it all for you. You can scan through the, through the video, things like this. So this enables you, I guess to say, to you don't always have to have the, the YouTube on Safari or Google Chrome. You can, if you want to show your friends a funny video, open up Plex real fast, search it, let it buffer, and boom, you have it right here on this nice, great interface, which is very nice. So I'm going to be definitely using that. Then, as you see, I have Hulu down here, Juiced. It's just Sesame Street. This is just a bunch, there's just a shortage of the apps that are in the App Store. Let me just go ahead and download one and uh, go through it today just to show you how easy it is. So let me go back to Featured, and I'm going to download the, um, let's see, I'm going to download the Funny or Die, no, nope. yeah, let's do the Funny or Die here, okay, so where are we, Funny or Die, boom, Funny or Die app, click enter, hit install, waiting for response, Funny or Die is now available in the video section, hit enter, hit escape to go back to the main menu, I go to watch your videos, and look what has been added. Funny or die, right at the top. So I click enter, I go in, I can browse now through the stuff. So I can go to clean comedy if I wanted to. I can go to the most recent. Alright, it'll wait for the response so it can load up. Alright, and there we go. There are videos here I can just watch right now. I can watch these right now. Let's go ahead and watch one. This one's seven seconds. You can sit there as long as you don't make a commotion. And that was dumb, but hey, it's right there on Plex. Now let's talk about adding your movies, adding your own TV shows, all that good stuff, using your applications, uh, things of that nature. We're going to go here into Help, okay? That's what it tells you to do. You're going to go to Help, and basically, go to Get Started. And boom, there it is. You go, and everything's right here. It tells you how to do pretty much everything right here and there. So I don't want to waste your time going through it when you can do it yourself. Just go to Adding Movies. Hit enter, a nice video will pop up. Alright, and it'll show you step by step how to do it, let you enjoy Plex. Like I said, I'm gonna start using this more than front row for two reasons. The App Store, which I can watch Hulu, YouTube, all in one. So now I can get rid of Hulu desktop. Uh, I mean just it just has it all in one now. I can listen to my iTunes music. Uh, I can look at the breaking news on Fox. There's an MLB baseball app, which is going to end here in a second, but there is one of those. So check out Plex application. Download it right now in the sidebar. It's one of those ways. It's over there. This is a Beastly app, guys. If you have any more questions about Plex, let me know. Like I said, it is a free application. Free application. So take advantage of it. Use it. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. Post a video response. This is Scooter at Macintosh Tips. Hope you've enjoyed this application, and it's done my top list. Peace.